Jim's here all the way from Maryland. He actually works for a new Ninja Jim called Ninja Be Out There. He also mm -hmm. trains with Alternate Roots. Um, he's he's been in the community for a number of years. Um, very well respected man in the community. Go Ryan. And, um, he actually competed on season nine in Kansas City. Went out on the hang glider there. So let's see what he can put together here for his run. He is known for his speed, hence his name, Lightning. So let's see what he's able to do here. Let me see what's this thing. Here. All right, cautious approach. approach. Yeah, I mean, we've seen other competitors go out there, so, uh, and it's perhaps, you know, he knows those those ninjas, right? He may know that some of those ninjas were strong, and uh, he has chosen to just be extra safe, just in case, you know, you could always go out and see so, There we go, making it right onto the third obstacle now. The factory tilt. Lots of feet on here. That's four or five steps. Interesting, but he controlled it really well. His body position was really nice. Doing the 180 jump. Yeah, his, his chin is snuffed up right there to the obstacle. Look at that one-handed grab. I do like that because it has so much control. Grabbing it so tight like that. You're also saving your fingertip strength for later on. So, you know, now that I say it, again, I'm going to be running later. And uh, I'm thinking it might be a good way to go. Save a little bit of fingertip strength. Coming through here, this is a little bit of a rest. You get a little bit of a walk, you go to the next obstacle. Um, you could see this is an advantage uh, to shake out and get ready for this next section. It also, though, if you're not careful, can eat up a lot of time. The difference between competitors clearing or uh, making certain places is a matter of seconds very often. And if you're not careful and you're walking very slowly, seconds slip by very quickly. So. Interesting to see how many competitors speed through those little those little gaps in between obstacles. Ryan now taking the cliffhanger approach here. Big move, beautiful. Nice big move. Great you see he's attack. allowing, he's actually great allowing the jump to go back before he back makes the next move forward, which is a better approach. You can see it builds momentum, which means he has to make less physical movements, saving his grip strength. Oh, oh no! Oh. He grabbed the tether, and I think he actually oh. knew it, and... And let, and go, let of go of it. Because he, yeah. He felt that he was ready That's to okay. Fall. Exactly. You still oh, awesome. <laughs> oh man, that's man. a shame there. But I, I just want to remark on what you were saying is dead on. I believe that he was doing a great job getting through the obstacle. Great approach. But uh, when he went to transition to that last pipe, it just moved in an unexpected way that he wasn't ready for, yep. and his hand ended up on the sling. Mm -hmm. and